Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. All right, if you're a fan of the show, you know San Antonio is home to some of our favorite sites and is also my hometown. So we decided to dig a bit deeper into the historic downtown and uncover a few beloved destinations right here in San Antonio. You know, one of the best ways to experience the Alamo, the Riverwalk, and the historic buildings of San Antonio is by seeing the city, the one that I love, by double-decker bus tour. But before catching a ride and hopping on and off the bus, we spoke with David Strange. I've lived in San Antonio my whole entire life, yep. but I have yet to be a tourist in my own hometown. So tell us a little bit about hop on, hop off tours and what brings people to you guys. Okay, uh, well we go all day, every day. First bus is about 9 a.m. Every 20 to 30 minutes, you get to see all the cool stuff downtown. We have 19 bus stops, including here, number one at Alamo Plaza. We go everywhere you'd expect downtown, as far north as Pearl, as far south as the South Town area and Blue Star Brewery and many other places. So it's called hop on, hop off. How many times can I do all of that? As much as you like. Really? We do 24 hour tickets or two day tickets with a free third day. Um, but whatever ticket you buy, it's hop on, hop off as much as you like during that time period. So what a lot of people do is they take the tour, which okay. takes about an hour, okay. and then they use it as a taxi service because you've got your ticket anyway. You're all set. Enough talking about San Antonio. Let's go see it with our own two eyes. Want to go on the bus? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. Now coming up on our right, we have the heart of our entire state, the Alamo. This is going to be one of five missions here in the downtown area. Now coming up on the right here, we have the 60 foot monument known as the Alamo Cenotaph or Empty Tomb. That's what that is. Now coming up on our left here, we have this beautiful Victorian style home known as the Wolfson House. Looks like my sorority house. The Riverwalk actually began right, right in this area. And if you look off to your right, they actually set up a, a marker to mark the original starting point of the river. All right, so underneath this highway, we're coming up to the historic Pearl District right over there. Now, if you do have plans on stopping by, I would definitely recommend stopping by Hotel Emma. With 14 more stops and plenty of sights to see, we were definitely feeling the love from the Alamo City. Restaurants? It says we love you, San Antonio! Here, we love you too. I hope you learned a thing or two about San Antonio. I know I sure did. This is the best and informative way to learn about any city. All you have to do is ride city sightseeing tours. Okay, so to give you a point of reference, just down the street this way is the Alamo and over here is the Riverwalk and right behind me is the Buckhorn Saloon. For over 140 years, this place has been a unique staple right here in downtown San Antonio. With two museums and a 130 year old saloon, we met up with Texas Bob to get the lay of the land. What are your tips? What should we do? What should we see first? A lot of people like the animals and everything's laid out by continent upstairs and yeah. you, you, you travel around the world. A lot of people like the Texas Ranger collection. Uh -huh. So you have two museums to see. It's a very good value. Besides the museum itself, what else does this venue offer? Well, we have the full service bar and you, and you can buy a drink and take it through the museum with you. There's not many museums you can do that. In 23 years, I'm still seeing new things all the time. All right, so enough talking about all of this stuff. Why don't you and I go see it and uh, check it out for ourselves? Yeah, let's take a tour. Thank you. This is an antique chair of mirror handcrafted in 1790 by Italian artisans. Wow, that's impressive. It's probably Beautiful. the most expensive artifact we have. This is the oldest artifact that we have in the collection. This is a prehistoric Irish elk rack. Wow. This was found in a peat bog in Ireland. It's over 10,000 years old. Over 10,000 years old, holy smoke. This is our African hall. Everything in here is from Africa. Uh -huh. This is our famous African gorilla. 
Carol Burnett, the comedian, grew up here in San Antonio, and she remembers the gorilla from when she was a little girl. With over 520 species of wildlife on display, there's something for everyone here, and unexpected excitement too. Um, oh, 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 what is that? Oh, look out. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, you got He's bit. Coming. Maybe I can cut you. Just make a little cut and suck the poison. No, no. no? Yes, just leave it. <gasps> you scared me. All right, so as we learned, the Buckhorn Saloon has been around for over 140 years, and it's probably going to stick around for years so it can keep entertaining, educating, and delighting generations to come. Stay right where you are. More from downtown San Antonio coming up after the break. Hey y'all and welcome back to the show where we're picking up right where we left off in the heart of the Alamo City. So obviously the Riverwalk is home to several popular restaurants and we are standing in front of the first business to open its doors here on the river and it all started right here at Casa Rio. You can't come to the Alamo City without digging into authentic Tex-Mex food. And Casa Rio has everything you want. All right, Bill, we have finally made it to Casa Rio, and I heard that it has been here for many, many years. So tell us the history of the restaurant and how long it's been here. Well, it's been here 76 years. Wow. Grandpa was a tough uh, working German and then during the war everything just stopped all the men went to war nobody bought anything and so that's when he excavated his basement under his appliance store and that's where Casa Rio is and he was the only business on the Riverwalk back in 46 it's the number one or number two destination in Texas next to the Alamo and so he did some things that were to just try to enhance the business and so he would offer a meal and a boat ride. What is one thing or your favorite thing about being on the Riverwalk, being here for so long, and uh, being a part of downtown San Antonio experience for so many people? Granddad said there are more people with a nickel than there are with a dollar. Right. So he wanted to cater to everyone yeah. and offer an experience in a very pleasant atmosphere at a reasonable price. So we have maintained that throughout all of our 76 years. And we've just been very blessed to be a part of that all during that period of time. And we're just thank y'all for being here. It's fun. Our staff loves having things like this happen. Yeah, we're happy to be here and show the world or all of the state of Texas, Casa Rio, if they haven't already. Casa Rio has mastered the art of Tex-Mex and the regular plate has been a staple for years. It's been the regular plate since we opened. So this is the regular plate from the from original time that it opened to now. Since 1946. Since 1940. Okay, so what all do we have? Uh, we have our uh, enchilada that we make in-house uh, with our fresh gravy. Okay. Uh, chili con carne that consists of pork and beef. Our Mexican rice, refried beans, and a tamale. Mmm. Pork tamale. Pork tamale, okay. This meal, this plate, has everything that you want when you come down to San Antonio. It has a little bit of everything. It's all very, very delicious, very tasty, well done. And uh, like I said, enchiladas are bomb. There is nothing more authentic than a restaurant that stays true to its heritage. And speaking of heritage, I had such a blast exploring my own hometown right here in San Antonio. So I'm going to end this segment the only way I know how, by eating Mexican food, sipping a margarita, and listening to mariachi music. Go Spurs, go! To plan your next trip to San Antonio, visit the links below for more information.